All right, are you considering maybe taking a creatine product, but you've heard things like it can cause hair loss or maybe even acne? If so, you're in the right spot because in this video, we are going to separate fact from fiction and we're gonna get down to the truth. I'm James Grage, your supplement industry insider. Now, it's no wonder that creatine is at the very top of the list for recommended sports nutrition products based on its track record for being able to enhance muscle growth and improve athletic performance. But despite the benefits, some people are still concerned over the potential side effects, especially the popular rumor that creatine supplementation can cause hair loss and acne. All right, so let's get down to the bottom of this. So everything in this conversation, we are going to keep this scientifically based and objective, despite my positive personal experiences with creatine, including my 25 plus year career in the sports supplement industry, as well as also personally taking creatine as a supplement for 30 years now. All right, the first paper is the official position stand of the International Society of Sports Nutrition on creatine. The second one is a paper published in 2021 on common questions and concerns about creatine. I'll go ahead and link both of these in the description. Now, originally I was gonna go ahead and tackle these two separate topics of hair loss and acne separately, but considering that they are so closely related, it makes sense to go ahead and talk about both at the same time. All right, so let's start with a simple but fun fact that not everyone might be aware of. And that is the fact that every pore, we'll actually draw a little pore here. So every pore in the human skin also is a hair follicle. Now, we'll draw a little hair follicle here. Now that's true even when there aren't any visible hairs. A good example of that would be our nose. Now the pore acts as a conduit, if you will, for new hairs to reach the surface of the skin, but it's also a conduit for sweat. And it's also conduit for natural oils to reach the surface of the skin. Now every hair follicle has a hormone receptor and it also has what's called a sebaceous gland. Now, the sebaceous gland produces what's called sebum. Not sebum, the bodybuilder, but sebum, which is the body's natural oil that's going to help lubricate and protect the skin. Now, hormones like testosterone, even of course anabolic steroids and the conversion to DHT or dehydrotestosterone ultimately act upon that hormone receptor. Some people who are going to be sensitive to DHT, this can result in that pore or that hair follicle shrinking, which ultimately leads to hair loss. But these exact same hormones can act on the sebaceous gland making it produce more sebum and what that ends up doing, producing or overproducing too much oil, clogging the pore and causing acne. So you can see the close relationship here between hair loss and acne with the common ground being hormones. So how does all this relate to creatine supplementation? Well, the common misconception is that creatine supplementation leads to an increase in both testosterone and DHT. Now, the vast majority of this speculation probably stemmed from a study that was done in 2009. This was conducted in South Africa by a rugby institute where they took college age male rugby players and put them on a creatine protocol over the course of three weeks. They did a one week loading protocol and then a two week maintenance protocol. And what they ended up seeing after three weeks was a statistically significant increase in DHT levels. Now the news of this spread and ta-da, now all of a sudden you have this belief that creatine causes an increase in DHT levels and can cause things like both hair loss and acne. And if you were to only reference this one study, you might actually believe that. But there are a few important things to note. First thing, 
Since this 2009 study, there have been 12 additional studies that have investigated the correlation between creatine supplementation and testosterone levels. Now, out of those 12, there were only two that showed any kind of increase in total testosterone, and they found it to be insignificant. Now, five of the 12 also tested for free testosterone, not just total testosterone, but free testosterone, and showed no significant changes. So why is this important? Well, that's because our body uses free testosterone to produce DHT. Now, second thing to consider, that 2009 study was iffy to begin with. So in the study, they had two groups. They had a creatine group and they had a placebo group that took nothing. Before the study took place, in other words, before they started taking creatine, your creatine group actually had, as a whole, 23% lower DHT levels than your placebo group. So that's at the beginning. Now, after the experiment, your creatine group DHT levels go up slightly. And funny enough, your placebo group goes down slightly. And this is what they're measuring from here to here, explaining much of the statistical differences. Now, it's always been a bit of a myth that creatine supplementation has a bit of steroid-like properties or that creatine is a steroid. That was a popular rumor for a very long time, still exists a bit today. And it's easy to understand considering some of the muscle size and strength benefits and that increased athletic performance. But I think there's another factor that a lot of people don't take into consideration. It's something that I've seen over the course of being in the gym for more than 30 years now, being in the game a long time, seeing people using creatine supplementation as air cover for their anabolic steroid use to explain to their friends and family the sudden increase in muscle size and strength. And of course, anabolic steroids, we know, can be associated with both hair loss and acne. So now all of a sudden, you've got the unwanted side effects of anabolic steroid use now associated with creatine. Now when it comes to both hair loss and acne, there is no concrete scientific evidence linking creatine to hair loss and acne. But based on this 2009 study, it is possible that you might be able to see an increase in DHT levels, even though they didn't show an increase in free testosterone. Now it's theorized that that may be because of activity with the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. So 5-alpha reductase is what's going to convert testosterone to DHT. So even though that we don't see an increase in testosterone levels, we still might possibly see an increase in DHT. Now again, there is no concrete scientific evidence of this, but I just want to acknowledge the possibility of it just to be totally objective. Now for anyone who's taking creatine or has taken creatine and experienced acne or an increase in acne, it's important to remember a few things that might play a factor. So number one, if you're taking creatine, you're probably resistance training and hard workouts themselves can increase testosterone levels, obviously leading to an increase in DHT levels. Now those same hard workouts also can lead to an increase in sweating, which can clog that pore causing acne. And there's one more thing that I would say about creatine supplements. It is an osmotically active substance and can pull water intracellularly into the muscle, which is one of the benefits of taking a creatine supplement. But that means that we need to drink extra water when taking creatine to make sure that we're taking care of skin health as well. So to wrap up here, it's probably unlikely that your creatine supplement is causing hair loss or acne. It's also important to remember that creatine isn't some sort of weird foreign chemical. It's a natural substance that's not only found in our body, but also in the foods that we eat. So it's probably time to go ahead and ditch some of that gym folklore or gym myths and embrace all the potential benefits of taking a creatine supplement. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. If you wanna make sure that you're notified for more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm James Grage, and I will see you next video.